Ibogaine is, is a hydrochloride. It is a purified uh, uh, version of a plant a derivative called iboga or iboga tabernanth that comes from a root bark in central western Africa in Gabon. So they take the root bark and they uh, create massive amounts of it and, and, and then purify it in a lab. We test it to make sure it's pure. And it has a particular... Um, effect on the brain chemistry in three very important ways, particularly for PTSD, depression, and chemical dependency. So those three ways are, one, it resets to the pre-addicted state, the serotonin-1 and serotonin-2 system. So there's uh, in normal chemical dependency treatment, there's depression. When you take away the substance, right. there's severe depression. So that is eliminated or materially reduced high double digit percentage of reduction. That's number one. Right. Number two is it resets the kappa opioid receptors to a pre-addicted state. Someone that's taking handfuls of painkillers or smoking fentanyl around the clock or shooting heroin or drinking alcohol, now they have no desire for that substance that they, the day before. They How does that work though? Like I've been through it, so it's like, but you know, I had a bit of a difference because I wasn't trying to do drugs anymore. I was on some 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 maintenance thing for for twelve years. So, but how does it block sort of the cravings? It resets to a natural state. It's not blocking, so it's not blocking in the way that it's uh, binding and sticking. Long acting opioid uh, treatment like Suboxone or Subutex or Methadone actually just satisfies those cravings for a longer period of time, sort of punting down the road the craving a little bit longer than the other substances. I begin actually resets to a pre-addicted state. Now you're gonna ask me, how does it do yeah, that? And very the, well. The scientists don't know they yet. They don't know. No, because, because it's a schedule one substance, we can't do a lot of research on exactly how it works. Now there's been a lot of animal studies. What's the theory behind it? The theory behind it is, it essentially um, uh, satisfies that opioid receptor for a period of time prior to it feeling feeling the craving, and then it is actually deactivates it deactivates or? that craving, and so there's no withdrawal and there's no craving, and and there's one that's the second key effect, and then the third is it upregulates this protein in the brain and naturally. Uh, occurring protein called GDNF or Galil derived neurotropic factor. So this protein causes a human being to feel this. It does a lot of things, but right. one of the things it does is it causes a human being to feel this sense of purpose, this sense of desire to grow and change. And you see it like in a toddler. One day they're crawling around on the floor. Next day they're trying to stand up. And as soon as they stand up, have you seen your own kids and others? They want to walk. Right. As soon as they want to walk, what do they want to do? Run. And, you know, drives parents crazy. But the kids don't care. They're like, I'm doing something. It's exciting and good. And, and they feel this, this uh, profound uh, satisfaction of change. So you combine those three effects. No depression, no craving withdrawal with a desire to change. It is like a, a, a cure uh, for the, the, the addiction. But of course, it opens up the opportunity for behavioral change, which mm -hmm. is the second critical component of what we do at Beyond, the therapy. So you take someone who the day before is around the clock using a substance, or they feel depressed, and you introduce this substance, they will feel totally different. But they may not be able to hold on to it because they haven't changed their behavior sure. that. Yeah. So that GDNF, that protein, makes them want to look at what is the root cause of the behavior? The pain that I'm having is, is being treated with this substance. So I need relief. So what we are able to do mm -hmm. in that critical period is look at what, what is causing it. Right. Then we can, we can make it go away. And then how are we going to change to stay stopped? It's really profoundly effective.